Those signs basically are just painted advertisements on the side of brick buildings. I'm here in Boston, right near uh, the TD Garden, the North Station area, and we're looking at a pretty famous ghost sign here uh, for the Old Marla Wine Company. I run the blog called The Backside of America, which I've been doing for just about 12 years now. It was really just walking around, driving around places, and just saying, like, what's the story with that place? What's the deal with that place? And just had the idea that, well, if I want to know what these places are, these things are, these, you know, abandoned factories or old buildings that I'm fascinated by, the best thing to do is, I said, I just take some pictures and, and just write it up. For me, I love doing the research, like going on Google or wherever to try to find out, okay, like if you can actually even read what the sign says, what was the company, what did they do? You know, I like, you know, looking up and finding out, uh, you know, the history of what businesses used to be around and what are still around. So this one behind us is for a, a hardware flooring company that started in Charlestown, 1825, and it's actually still in business. Holton Bugby still has a website you can go and look and read their history on there. So it's kind of cool to come across one that's actually for a, a current business. It's kind of rare. The analogy I think of for ghost signs, especially, is it's you know kind of like looking for fossils, right? It's like fossils of the you know the advertising age trying to uncover the history. Like, you can't always read what they're saying, so that sets me off to, you know, I've got to look it up, try to do a little research, find what other people have taken photos of it, see if they have any information. So yeah, it's like, it's digging up history, but also like, yeah, trying to collect those things. Like, you know, someone posts a, something on Instagram, a, a ghost sign around here that I haven't seen before. I'm like, whoa, like, how did they find it? How, how come I didn't know about that one? <laughs> Not that it's a competition, but it makes me think like, okay, well, now I need to go find that one too.